I'm back turning out of the pandemic and the highly transmissible BA5 variant, which is now the dominant variant across the US as it continues to spread. Health officials sounding the alarm, urging Americans to get those booster shots. Morgan Norwood reports. Driven by the highly transmissible BA5 variant, new COVID cases continue to surge across the country. The BA5 variant now makes up more than 78% of all new cases and is said to be more resistant to prior vaccinations and immunities. That's why health experts are pleading with Americans to get their boosters. Having 67% of the population in a rich, developed country like the United States is unacceptable. We have got to do better than that. And of those 67%, only about half of them have received a first dose of a, a, a first boost, which again is unacceptable. According to the latest CDC data, most of the U.S. is living in a county with high or medium risk level of COVID. Yet some cities and agencies are rolling back restrictions and mandates. In San Francisco, the mask requirement for BART, its transportation system, now expired. This is not the time to do it, especially in closed indoor environments like BART. With so many lives lost due to COVID, the other massive toll from the virus has flown under the radar. Workers lost due to long COVID. Freddie Fernandez spent five months in the hospital battling the virus. He and his family still deal with the lingering effects. It's a day by day, something to appreciate, to value life because from one day to another, it can be gone. In a hearing Tuesday, one advocate estimating that Americans with long COVID lost about $230 billion a year in earnings, a number she believes could double by 2030 if the population keeps growing and if the virus keeps spreading. There is essentially no way this could not have a significant impact on the economy. Meanwhile, a CDC panel is voted to recommend the Novavax vaccine. The CDC director still needs to sign off before it will be available to the public. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Los Angeles.